It's a two-week event. It happens every year. It's uh, called the COP, the Conference of the Parties. Uh, it's in Durban, South Africa this year. The climate finance and the, the future of the Kyoto Protocol are probably the two biggest issues at stake in Durban. The Kyoto Protocol was struck in 1997 and it was actually setting some firm emissions limits for many of the, the big countries, although the U.S. did not sign on. Um, it expires next year in 2012. And so the big talk is will there be a successor treaty that's, uh, that will be agreed to. In addition to that, there's a lot of discussion about some agreements that were struck in Cancun last year uh, regarding climate finance. Uh, a lot of the developed countries agreed to provide $100 billion of funding for mitigation and adaptation in these the poorer countries. But unfortunately, we haven't seen that money uh, materialize yet. And so a lot of the debate has been around finger pointing and will we see some of the, the funds materialize. See, 194 countries officially are represented. Uh, you see, but thousands and thousands of NGOs, IGOs, uh, other governments, uh, as well as uh, increasing amount of the business community. Uh, we've seen, especially since Copenhagen, where there was a, a rise in uh, business interest because of the, the, the pressure that was put on for that meeting, um, a lot of the sectors are coming and, and it's really not just the traditional, maybe the, the heavy industry or energy, we're seeing agriculture and water. Um, they see a very strong stake in sort of proper resource management and how does this get folded into uh, the climate change process. Well, the World Economic Forum has been invited by the South African government to co-host a series called the Durban Growth Series. Um, we're really uh, happy to, to welcome President Zuma, uh, who will kick us off on Sunday morning. Uh, and it'll be a series of discussions with leaders in government and industry. And the, the, the government specifically asked us, can you come up with really tangible, good, concrete examples of successful partnerships at the national or, or, or sub-national level uh, where people are really achieving you know, green growth and, and we're seeing real results. We're going to have sessions on clean energy. Uh, we'll feature some, some really good progress that the country of India has made with a national solar mission, uh, as well as Kenya looking at renewable energy. Uh, we'll then have a session on water and adaptation and that session will be uh, featuring uh, South Africa who has just struck a new partnership for water resource management. Uh, and then also we'll have something on uh, agriculture uh, with Tanzania who has developed a really interesting green growth corridor to, to attract investment for agriculture and uh, green growth there. So all the, the, the sessions will have ministers and, and CEOs and, and business leaders talking with each other about this partnership has worked, how can we have more of these and how can we scale them up to achieve the, the, the climate change challenge. Well, we, we've had a lot of success so far in the area of water resource management and, and agricultural uh, d plan development. And in both of those areas, we've done this sort of model where we've come into these emerging markets and there's a lot of growth, there's a lot of demand uh, for energy and, and, and food that are needed, a lot of job creation that's needed. And what we try to do is bring together the right stakeholders and form a sort of a country coalition how do we help the country of Tanzania, for example, develop a green growth agricultural strategy? Let's bring some of the fertilizer companies, the agricultural com companies, even the end users, some of the consumer products companies, and talk about what they would invest in and, and how to make a, an attractive investment environment and then give advice in terms of policies that we've seen work in other countries. Uh, so we've worked in Tanzania, Vietnam, Mexico, and, and several other countries with agriculture. Uh, in water, we've worked with Jordan and Mexico, Mongolia, China, India. Um, so we're starting to get a, a bit of a, a, a coalition of peers that are, are looking at each other and seeing that these models can work. And then we, we're working as well on clean energy. Uh, so that's sort of a newer area uh, looking at, uh, as I said, India and, and Kenya.